Hello YouTube fam, welcome back to our channel. In this channel, we will be discussing various topics in the exciting world of AI, machine learning, and computer vision. Our content is crafted by our awesome human team, but here's the magic. It's finely tuned and optimized by our AI wizards, bringing you top-notch information. And guess what? The presentation is delivered to you by our AI hosts and voiced by our incredible AI avatars. Let's get started. In today's video, we will create a customer service pre-sales chatbot for a fictional company called AI Enchanted Innovations. Users will come to the website and ask questions about certain products. If the product is available in the knowledge base, the bot will respond with relevant information. If the product is not available, the bot will respond with, we do not sell such product. The prerequisite is that we should have a knowledge base data available. We will create a file called crib description. We will store the product description sold by our fictional company. We will use the below libraries to implement the code. We will use Gradio to create chatbot UI, Langchain to load the knowledge base, chunk it and store in vector store. We will use face for vector store and search. Open AI for embedding and chat responses. Gradio is the super cool toolkit that turns your machine learning models and Python scripts into interactive web apps in a snap. It's like giving your AI projects their own personal stage to show off what they can do. Plus, Gradio's got this great feature, gr.chat interface, which is all about rolling out the red carpet for your chatbot, making it look sleek and smart with its own chat UI. So if you're ready to take your code from the shadows to the spotlight, Gradio is your backstage pass to the world of interactive AI demos. Next up, we will look at the code implementation. First up, we will create a knowledge base document. We will create a file called crib description. We will add three products to our catalog. The first is the Transformies AI convertible crib. For each product, we will have four subsections. Description, which is a textual description. We will store the size dimensions. We store the weight of the product. Finally, we store the price. For each of the other products, we will add all these four sections. Now that we have our knowledge base ready, we can use the Langchain text loader function to load the knowledge base document into memory. Um, the embedding models work well with smaller chunk data as it helps to retain relevant meaningful information. Having the whole documents or very large chunks will make it include non-semantically relevant data. We will use the character text splitter and split the documents into chunks. We can see that there are five chunks for this example. Next up, we will embed the knowledge base documents and store in a vector store. We can then embed them using the Langchain OpenAI embeddings. Langchain provides easy integrations with VectorDB. We will store the embedding into VectorDB using the phi.from documents function. Before we code the chatbot UI, let us discuss an important concept of similarity search with score. At prediction or inference time, we will use the user query and do a similarity search in the VectorDB created above. We will use the similarity search with score. We will get the relevant document and also the similarity score. The lower the score means more similar. Let us look at a few examples. For the query, describe the crib you have, we will do the similarity search with score. This brings up the relevant document about the Transformies AI convertible crib. The score is a 0.37, which means a fairly good match. For the second example, for the query describe the computer desk you have, we will do the similarity search with score. This brings up a non-relevant document about the high chair. The score is 0.53, which means a very bad match. To make it modular, we will create a function, get relevant content. We will use the user query and do a similarity search in the vector DB created above. We will use the similarity search with score. We will get the relevant document and also the similarity score. If the relevant document score is less than 0.4, we will return the relevant document. If the relevant document score is more than 0.4, we will return, sorry, we do not sell such product. All right, finally, let us code the chatbot using Gradio. Gradio is the super cool toolkit that turns your machine learning models and Python scripts into interactive web apps in a snap. 
It's like giving your AI projects their own personal stage to show off what they can do. Plus, Gradio's got this rad feature, GR.chat interface, which is all about rolling out the red carpet for your chatbot, making it look sleek and smart with its own chat UI. So if you're ready to take your code from the shadows to the spotlight, Gradio's your backstage pass to the world of interactive AI demos. We will use chat OpenAI module from Langchain OpenAI. We will create a function chat with customer. This will take the user message as input. It will then call the get relevant content function we created earlier. If relevant document text is sorry, we do not sell such product, we will display this text as it is. If we do have the relevant product asked by the user, we will then get response from OpenAI LM using chat.invoke. We are using the OpenAI LM response as it adds more value to the content. It adds additional information than what is available in the knowledge base and explains it in a clear way. Also, it lets the user ask additional related question rather than just the info from our limited knowledge base. The LLM will answer this based on its own pre-trained extensive knowledge. Finally, let us see a demo of our sales chatbot. We launch our chatbot using the command grchatinterface.launch. This gives a local URL where our chatbot is running. Let us click on it and interact with the chatbot. Now, let us see a demo of our sales chatbot. A potential customer comes to the site and asks, describe the crib you have. We can see chatbot responding with details about the Transformies AI convertible crib. It gives a description and also the dimensions and the price. If we look at the description, we can see that the words and sentences are not exactly the same as in our knowledge base, but the LLM did use it as a base and it formed the sentences using its own tone. This could be helpful to add additional color to the info we have. It sounds more like a sales pitch. For the second query, let us say the user asks to describe the computer desk you have. Our chatbot responds with, Sorry, we do not sell such product. This is the behavior we wanted. Next, we will ask about the high chair. We will ask how much is the high chair? The chatbot shows the price from our catalog. The results are accurate. We will then ask it for more description. We can see chatbot responding with details about the Hygro AI high chair. It gives a description and also the dimensions and the price. These are very relevant and accurate information as per our product catalog. If we look at the description, we can see that the words and sentences are not exactly the same as in our knowledge base, but the LLM did use it as a base and it formed the sentences using its own tone. All right, let us see example for one more product which is available in our catalog. Let us say the customer asks about baby bassinet. We ask, do you sell baby bassinet? We can see chatbot responding with details about the Serenity Nest AI baby bassinet. It gives a description and also the dimensions and the price. These are very relevant and accurate information as per our product catalog. We can drill deep into things like size dimensions and the price. We ask, what is the size of the baby bassinet? The chatbot responds with the size dimensions and also the price information. Um, earlier, when we asked the bot about the computer desk, which is not in our catalog, it responded with, sorry, we do not sell such product. Finally, we will ask the bot about one more item, which is not in our catalog. We will ask about jean pants. <laughs> do you sell jean pants? Our chatbot responds with, sorry, we do not sell such product. This is the behavior we wanted. One thing to note about our chatbot is that we are using the OpenAI LM response as it adds more value to the content. It adds additional information than what is available in the knowledge base and explains it in a clear way. Also, if the user asks additional related question, the LLM will answer this based on its own pre-trained extensive knowledge. When we ask it to describe the crib, we can see that the words and sentences are not exactly the same as in our knowledge base but the LLM did use it as a base and it formed the sentences using its own tone. When we ask what is a convertible crib, it answers in detail from its own pre-trained knowledge. We do not have any definition of convertible crib in our knowledge base. The LLM comes up with answers on its own.
Also, after defining the convertible crib and its advantages, it also mentions our own Transformies AI convertible crib. It sounds more like a sales pitch. All right, that is it for today. We created a customer service pre-sales chatbot for a fictional company. Users asked questions about certain products. If the product is available in the catalog, the bot responded with relevant information based on the knowledge base and adding its own sales pitch tone. If the product is not available, the bot responded with, we do not sell such product. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more exciting adventures in the world of AI and machine learning. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more tech talks, and ring that notification bell to stay updated on our future explorations. Until next time, happy coding and keep the curiosity alive. Thanks for watching.